Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Regina with Reggie's VSG Closet. And we're in a, we're in a little different spot in the Clawfus. This is just kind of like my little corner. Um, again, I've shown you this Clawfus. It is not very big. Um, so this is just kind of a corner. There's a window here. I don't know, this is just a little corner I kind of snuggle up in sometimes if I want to read. Um, I can see my TV from here. Like way back in the day when we had like a really bad rainstorm, I when I first started vlogging, um, I like vlogged from this corner and I had the window open and the breeze going. So you'll have to look way, way back at like the Instagram to find that old stuff. But anyway, I just kind of... I don't know this is our last video for weight loss surgery related January um, for all that content I'm really really excited to get into February and all the shopping stuff that I've filmed so far but um just kind of the last thing that I wanted to go over and I actually have notes y'all like I don't ever have notes but I have notes for this video because I wanted to kind of remember what I wanted to say but this video is pretty much um, the best tips for hiding weight loss surgery. I've seen a lot of people do these videos that are weight loss surgery um, YouTubers and they have lots of content on it. And they have all kind of tips about how to push food around your plate um, while you're chewing so that you don't have to like explain to you people that you're out eating, like why you're not eating much, blah, 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 blah. So I thought I would do a little twist on it and do my own like version of like how to hide weight loss surgery tips or whatever. Um, so... I felt like I really wanted to do those things when I first decided that I was going to have weight loss surgery. And then I got to a point, um, I want to say it was like right when I was about to have surgery, that I was like, you know what, I'm not hiding this from the world. I'm not hiding that I'm having surgery. Maybe if I can inspire at least one person that's like on the fence about having surgery, um, that maybe this will help them change their life. So from then on, I've posted everything, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows about my experience. So just for a little bit of a twist, um, we're going to start with tip number one. Don't. Don't hide that you're having weight loss surgery. I feel like there are so many people out there. I don't know the exact percentage of America that's overweight or obese or whatever, but there are so many people out there that that are overweight and need this surgery and are afraid to do it because they don't e they either don't know somebody that has had it done they don't know where to find information there's a number of different things that you find maybe easy to yourself like oh i can hop on google and find out anything i want but not everybody out there is as savvy as hopping on google not everybody out there feels like they can find information or whatever. So don't hide that you're having surgery. You know, to me, I mean, I'm not saying shout it to the world, but to me, if someone asks, I'm going to tell them. Or if someone mentions, hey, you've lost a lot of weight, you're lost. I'd be like, oh, I had weight loss surgery about a year ago. And that little sentence to me has like opened up so many conversations with people um, in the last year. It's like ridiculous. Like I've regained or rekindled relationships with old coworkers that I hadn't talked to in a while. I've rekindled relationships with um, old people high school friends that I hadn't talked to in a while. There's just so many, like, people I've reconnected with because I was open about what I was doing and how I lost all of the weight that I've lost. So, um, with, um, the whole, like, having an Instagram page and posting my before and afters, I've also met a lot of people 
from Instagram world, Instagram world, that um, I probably would have never met any other way. So I just feel like being an open book, I've been open an open book to strangers, people I have not ever met in person, and we're now friends on Facebook or Instagram, and we share tips and stories and, and highs and lows, and it's just been, to me personally, a really good experience just being an open book to people and just... You know, if someone DMs me and is like, girl, I'm having a hard time, I'm like, girl, I'm having a hard time too. So don't beat yourself up about it because you're not the only one that is out here struggling um, some days. Because weight loss surgery is not the easy way out and it is still a fight to lose weight and not be the old person that you used to be. Um, another thing I would say is to join weight loss surgery communities, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram, any social media outlet. Um, I believe there's some hashtags in tw on Twitter. I'm not a big Twitter person, but, um, join weight loss surgery communities. Um, you know, everybody's out here, everybody's, you know, going through this process in their own way, but maybe a tip that you can offer can help somebody else and maybe a tip that they can offer can help you. So, um, you know, just be an open book on those weight loss community forums. Another tip that I just wanted to kind of go over as well is be confident. Like you are saving your life. Like if you've decided to have weight loss surgery or you've already had it, like you are saving your life. Do not allow people out here and their opinion about weight loss surgery to make you feel bad about yourself or make you feel bad that you're taking the easy way out because by no means is this the easy way out. This is a hard process to start from start to surgery to beyond. It is a very difficult process. Process. You are you are still fighting those same battles that you were fighting prior to having surgery. You're just losing weight a little bit faster than you would on your own. But it's still going to be an uphill battle and you're going to win. And don't allow people's opinions out of weight loss surgery out here to change your mind or to make you feel bad because to me um just to give prime example for myself i had diabetes and it was heading in a dangerous direction so to me losing weight on my own would have taken years to lose the the 60 70 pounds that i've lost so far that i've done in roughly a year so to me, weight loss surgery helped me basically fast track the process. Um, you know, I I'm pretty much at a standstill right now because my body has leveled out. I'm no longer diabetic, so we're going to give a thumbs up there for that because that was my goal is to run away from diabetes. So I fast tracked this weight loss so that I could get away from type 2 diabetes. I'm away from it now and currently at a standstill, but... Now is the time where I have to get back on track and actually do the 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 gym stuff and all of the stuff that I hate doing, but my goal was to get away from diabetes. That has been checked off my list. Now it's time to actually dive in and fight. So it is not an easy way out, but it is a fast tracking process to get away from comorbidities that are just like holding you down. So don't allow people out there to bring you down about their, you know, their thoughts and their opinions about weight loss surgery. Um, be confident. Be confident that you are saving your own life and it's all about you. It's not about anybody else. Like, if you're dying from diabetes, they're not out here helping you get away from it, but they have opinions when you want to have surgery to get away from it. Like, just... People will always be people and people will always have their opinions and they'll always voice them even if you don't ask for it. So do not allow people to get to you. And just my last kind of like food for thought is like you, no matter, I don't even know how to say this, like no matter like w how you feel, like you are honestly helping so many people by sharing your journey or not hiding your journey. Like, 
Like, maybe I should even, even title this, like, best tips for not hiding your weight loss surgery journey because you just, you might be changing lives and you don't even know it. There may be people that will see your journey and they may ne never even tell you that you inspired them or gave them confidence, but just know that it's out there because you shared it that you probably are helping save lives. Like, Weight loss surgery is not, again, an easy way out. It's a great tool for people to become healthier in a little bit of a fast track way because they have certain diseases that are weight related that they need to basically get rid of um, so that they can become healthier in the long run. So just... I don't know. I just feel like hiding it. And I mean, yeah, some people hide it and there's no problem if you are that person that has decided not to tell anybody about it. But just, I mean, even if it's just one person, even if you share with just one person, like you don't have to share with everybody. But if you talk to one person and you know you know they've like mentioned I've thought about it, you know, and you know you've had it and you've never told anybody, like there's no harm in telling them. And, conf you know, and then just like letting them confide in you because you can change lives just by l sharing your journey. So that's just kind of how I feel about the whole hiding your weight loss surgery journey. Like I feel like you shouldn't. But again, that's my own opinion and it was my choice to switch from deciding to hide it to actually just like sharing it with everybody. Um, so that's just kind of my little, I don't know, should we call this in the corner talk? I don't know. Um, but this pretty much concludes all of the weight loss surgery content. For the month of January, I got through it. I posted nothing but weight loss surgery content. Uh, very proud of myself. I, I find that I'm really good at setting goals for YouTube. Um, at least video goals. I mean, I'm, I'm setting like subscriber goals as well. But like video goals and actually hitting them. And we're back to the shopping content next month. I know y'all are excited. I have a lot of videos like filmed and sitting in my editing bin right now. So I'm really excited to kind of share those with you guys. Um, and I think that's it. Like I, y'all just like, please comment below. Like I know I, I feel like me personally, I feel like I've done a terrible job, um, with the weight loss surgery content. Like it just, it didn't turn out to be what I wanted it to be. And I feel like I've really realized that my true niche is like shopping videos and getting things on a discount and stuff like that. But I don't know. I feel like I tried. So I feel like as long as you try, like you can't be like mad at yourself or put yourself down um, if you at least tried. And I feel like I really did try. Maybe later on when I'm like better at like filming period and have better equipment, maybe, you know, I'll do a better job. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I want to do, like, monthly updates, though. Just, like, pop it in and let you know how I'm doing with my journey. Um, but I just really don't know. But y'all let me know how y'all enjoyed this content. Comment down below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys very much. And I'll catch y'all next month with shopping shenanigans. Bye!